Hey everybody, it's Wendy with loveandstampin.com. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here with me. We are going to be using the Peaceful Moments stamp set today for a little sentiment. The um, Label Me Fancy Punch and the detailed, no, it's Delightful Tag Topper Punch. We've got this awesome crinkle ribbon, daffodil light ink. Um, we didn't end up using the twine actually. And I've got all the measurements and all of the supplies on the screen. So these are the measurements. If you need to write them down, you can pause the video here or you can hop over to my blog and get them there. This piece is cut at 11 inches by 2 inches and I am scoring it at 1.5 inches, 2.5 inches, 4.5 inches, 6.5 inches, eight and a half and nine and a half. <laughs> so a lot of scoring. So I'm using my Simply Scored tool to do all this scoring. If you wanted to create a whole bunch of these boxes, the easiest thing to do would be to use your Simply Scored. I'm going to punch each end with the delightful tag topper punch. And I wanna share that this video is kind of inspired by and, um, what should I say, uh, inspired by Encased from Sandy Hancock. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my stamping lineage with this video. Sandy Hancock is a stamper in Southern California. She is my uplines upline. So what does that mean? What is an upline? By the way, these little um, pieces are cut at one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Um, and they're going to go on the outside panels so you don't want to put it on the bottom that's the bottom piece and then I'm just folding on all the score lines and we're going to kind of make a pocket if you will for the box to slide into so you can see here how I am bending the the paper and you need to do the same in order for it to come together as a box and then you're going to use snail adhesive and attach just the top two pieces like so and then you have your little opening for your box. So Sandy sent me the instructions to these, um, to this box. I thought it was so adorable and I asked her permission if I could do a video on how to make it. And she said, absolutely, I would love that. So this piece of cardstock is cut at eight and a half by three and three quarters. We're going to score um, on the eight and a half side at two, four, six, and eight turn it and score at two. So, and then we'll do some trimming away. You can watch that. Pause the video at any point if you need to see it. FYI, um, something I really need to make a point about sharing about lately is whenever you place an order with me, I within 24 hours, I send you a thank you email and that includes the free Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle. If you're not getting that, you need to check your spam folder. So I always, without fail, send a thank you email. So if for some reason you are not getting those thank you emails from me, um, it's probably going to your junk or spam email folder. Okay, so back to my stamping lineage. Um, on this box, by the way, you're going to want to cut down, you're going to want to cut apart the two inch side and leave the one and three quarter inch side as the, the top of your box. The bottom is the two inch side. Okay, so um, I am under, uh, my direct upline is, her name is Patty, and she came into the company, she was around the 2000th demonstrator. Her upline is Sandy Hancock. She joined Stampin' Up! I think her number is like 112. She was like the 112th person to join. And she joined Stampin' Up! under Margaret Goodfellow, who is um, Shelly Gardner's aunt. And Shelly Gardner is the CEO and founder of Stampin' Up! So it's kind of cool. I feel like I have this kind of stamping royalty lineage, <laughs> if you will, if there was such a thing, because of who I happen to be under. I actually, it's a funny story, when I joined Stampin' Up!, um, I joined under a gal on the East Coast who I didn't even know, but I had paperwork that had her information all over it, um, and 
I signed up randomly under her because I had no desire to do this as a business. I was just simply going to do this for fun. Well, she was signed up under Patty. Well, long story short, that gal ended up dropping off and no longer doing Stampin' Up. And so it kind of made it so that I'm directly under Patty, who is one of the top demonstrators in the world. And, um, and then I am under all this cool, like lineage with the other people, right? I've got the CEO or co-founder. She's not the CEO anymore. I'm sorry. Her daughter is now the CEO, the co-founder, um, of Stampin' Up that, you know, her aunt is in my, like, up lineage. So I think that that's really cool um, and fun. And so I just wanted to share that because that's where I got this box idea from. She made one that was really cute that was um, for Valentine's. So I took mine in a different direction and I made it for a birthday. I think it would be really a cute little thing to add to a gift. Or, you know, if it's somebody, I don't know if you guys have this, but when it's someone I don't know really well, but I feel like, sometimes I just feel like, oh, I should do a little something for them. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you've had these instances in life where it's somebody that it, you wouldn't necessarily consider them a friend. Okay, so I get kind of hung up on titles. I don't really call people friends unless they are truly my friend. So if I just met you, <laughs> like yesterday, I'm probably not going to put you in that friend category. Um, my my bestest buddy taught me the associate category. So I love that category. And um, so, you know, somebody who I don't really know, um, goes in the associate category and to move into friend is a pretty big deal. I don't have a lot of friends actually, but then there's these people that are in between that it's like, yeah, I'm not going to call them if I need bail money, but you know, I love them and I want to know that they're good and I keep tabs on them as far as, you know, what's going on in their lives. So what do you classify those people as? Like the people that you care about and I guess they are a friend. Maybe they're just not a close friend. So anyway, um, that's the kind of people I'm talking. I'm just like rambling. Okay, so that's the kind of people I'm talking about with like a gift like this, right? Is it's like you just want to give them a little something. You want to recognize that you love them and you think of them, but you're not necessarily going to go out and spend a bunch of money on a gift. Shoot, I don't even do that for my best friend. She barely gets anything. <laughs> No, that's not true. She does. I treat her well. She actually is going to Hawaii with me in July. So stamping up, um, you can earn trips through stamping up. And so I earned the trip to Hawaii and we're going to Maui. So look at this. This is like a little Maui wowie treat. Um, and we're going to Maui and I chose her to come with. So it'll be me, her, and my daughter. My husband is not able to go because he will be finishing up his journeyman test. And then this is another one that I made using the country club golf stuff. So some of you remember probably if you've been following me for the last four years, my husband started um, a new job four years ago in which he was an apprentice um, and continuing through the program every six months, taking step tests to become a journeyman lineman. So there's the cute boxes all finished. So he is in his last six months of that program and he will become a journeyman lineman this summer. So that's pretty exciting. Um, if you've been with me on the adventure, I appreciate you very much. You can click either one of the videos you see here, click the circle with my face in it to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll check back in with you in a couple days. Bye-bye.